Hi Virgo, welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is another Virgo channel and this is another Virgo reading. Please keep in mind that this is going to be a general read for the sign of Virgo, not a personal read, so only take what resonates and fits into your story. Leave the rest for somebody else. You're already showing up really strong in your energy here at the Nine of Pentacles. I'm getting a lot of self-sufficiency. So this reading is not going to be for every Virgo. That's totally okay. Feel free to check out any of the other videos on the channel if they call to you. It is a library and most of the videos are timeless, so if those messages call to you, feel free to listen. Okay, let's start with our three deep breaths in the nose and out through the mouth. Another one in through the nose. Out through the mouth. And the final one in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Okay, so Virgo, what I'm getting is you're going to have a really important conversation this week. You could be having a really important business meeting this week. I feel like you're going to be meeting with somebody very wealthy or there's a wealthy energy coming in towards you here with this nine of pentacles somebody is seeing you as like the star okay somebody is finding you very self-sufficient they feel like you're the whole package here they want to offer you some kind of a deal or some kind of a contract okay let's see what you need to know okay it could have to do with the music industry here okay could have to do with some work social media work or sponsorship or something like that but i do see that there's going to be an important conversation with somebody coming up this week king of swords here all right so this is somebody who finds you very intellectually intelligent they find you very strong they think that you're very capable they want to give you a leadership position here king of cups they love what you do okay i feel like they've been watching you for a while whatever you're doing whatever it is that you do they've been watching you for a while they're going to be coming forward very soon to offer you something here i see a lot of messages coming your way in the next week in regards to money you can have multiple opportunities multiple contracts coming your way here i feel like some of them you didn't even manifest or you didn't even know were possible here okay we do have the four of pentacles so spirits wanting to make sure that you are holding your ground and knowing your worth okay only accepting what it is that you deserve okay the four of pentacles though it could mean that you need to give something up okay so you may need to like leave a platform or you may need to leave a business you may need to lose something in order to gain something else here with the queen of pentacles okay i feel like this could be an online business an internet business you could be going into business with somebody else i'm almost getting like it's just going to be you and somebody else here like maybe you you ran something by yourself or maybe you did this like big community based thing there's like a bunch of people and now you're like leaving to do like your own independent thing i'm hearing like independent artist independent art i'm getting something about like vocals so you could be like the singer somebody could be starting like a band or somebody's going to be like ghost writing or writing music for you or something like that here somebody's like no i can make you the next star you could be getting management or something like that here make sure that you are checking to see if they have your best interest okay ask them if you can have like a trial period here okay i feel like maybe in the past you've been disappointed with deals or contracts okay the double card means that there is definitely some kind of contract coming in okay ten of pentacles as well i feel like there's a lot of money this person is very wealthy okay or this entity or this organization is very wealthy but i feel like in the past people were not meeting your needs so you kind of closed off okay People were not giving to you the way that you wanted to be given to. So you closed yourself off. You declined a lot of opportunities in the past, whether they were like not of your status, um, not of your, uh, they didn't match with your audience. They didn't match with what you were trying to do here. I feel like that's what kept you in this four of pentacles stage. So you haven't been really accepting new opportunities, but this one's going to be a good opportunity. Let's keep pulling. Ten of pentacles though, I feel like you're going to be set like this person's going to make sure that you are set financially here. I'm hearing $100,000, could even be a million dollars here. Okay. Knight of Swords. Is some, someone's getting a million dollar contract? Congratulations. The Magician, you've been manifesting like millions of dollars or something like that. Or like a big contract, a big signing, a big deal. It's coming in. It doesn't have to be music, but you know, I just picked that up. It definitely has something to do with writing. It could be a book deal. You could be going on tour. I don't know. Knight of Swords, though, it has to do with like this communication coming in. This week, I feel like you're going to be meeting with somebody important. Okay, an important person is entering your life. You could also be making a mentor out of this person. I'm getting this weird thing that this person could also be like attracted to you. 
like relationship like they could also want a relationship this could be a twin flame dynamic like like a I don't know how to explain it, like a power couple energy, like this person's going to like discover you, you're getting discovered. Only take that if it resonates. I also see this kind of causing a little bit of conflict for you in your life. Maybe because it's going to uproot you and you're gonna have to move, or maybe because it's just causing a lot of like, I wanna do this, but I don't know if I wanna do this. Okay, that's what this reading is for, is for advice for you. You could be seeing twos a lot, two, 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 22, okay. It's definitely coming in this year if it's not coming in this week. Okay, so keep working. If you're not at that level of like being ready to accept like a major deal or a major contract, you know that that's not actually realistic for you this week, then this is definitely coming for you this year. Continue to push forward and continue to work on your skills, your music, your talent, whatever it is that you do, because it's going to pay off for you. You're going to have big deals just as long as you accept what God gives you, what the universe is giving you, what matches your manifestations, what matches your worth. Okay, don't let anybody tell you that this is the best opportunity you're going to get. Don't let anybody tell you that they can't give you more money. Don't let them, don't let them try to like back you into a corner where you feel like you have no options because that is what the devil will do. That is what these demonic entities will do to you. And they don't even have to be like scary, you know? It could just be like them not wanting to pay you your worth because they want to have an extra, they want to have an extra trip to Haiti or to Honduras or to the Bahamas. I don't know. They're only looking out for themselves. You'll know. Okay. I really feel like you might be getting new management here. You're looking for new management. For some of you, you might want to look for new management. Or you're going independent with this person who could also be a lover. I don't know how to explain that, but I feel like for some of you, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay. Five of Wands. I feel like you're going to have a lot of people mad. <laughs> like a lot of people upset. Okay. But oh well. Oh well. It's your life, not theirs, you know? They want to be you so bad. Six of Wands, they're going to want to be you so bad. The Empress, wow. Virgo, okay. So this person's going to be catering to your every need here. It almost feels like you kind of just get to sit back and be like the face or like the voice, you know? That's what I'm kind of getting from this energy. You're very beautiful. You're very attractive. Even if you don't see yourself that way, it's like you're unique. They don't look like you, Virgo. They don't talk like you. Virgo. I just feel like there, there's some kind of like brand image that's coming through here. You're elevating from this Queen of Pentacles to the Empress where you had to do it all alone before and like build this business, build this brand, build this face for yourself. Now you're going to have some help. And somebody who's been doing it for a long time I'm seeing potentially with the King of Swords. This is somebody who's like a boss. They've probably been around for a while, at least five or six years. Okay. Someone's been doing this for 10 years. Okay. Six of Wands and the Empress card here. I really feel like there could be like a modeling contract, something about like, I don't know, events, you being seen here. People are wanting to like parade you around, celebrate you. I don't know what you're doing or what's going on here, but I see that coming in for you. This new management is good for you. The Emperor and the Empress. Do you see what I'm saying with this relationship? But I feel like it's also a business connection. It's very interesting. I don't know how to explain this. The two of you are going to like heal people through music or through words or through touch or something like that. I feel like you're meeting your counterpart through all of this weirdness. I don't know how to explain that to you, Virgo. You'll have to live it out and see what goes on. But I feel like both of you are going to be in the public eye or this person's also in the public eye. And then we have the world here and the strength card. So this week, you're going to have a very important conversation with a wealthy human, a wealthy man or woman. Um, and it could have to do with like your brand imaging and whether like you want to accept management or you want to accept help. I think that you should accept help from others, Virgo. I'm seeing this angel number from the other day. Um, I think it was the, it's, it's 803. So go watch the very first, if this message, if this video finds you, your angels have messages for you. Okay, I'll link that in the description box below if you can't find it, but I remember 803 being really important, so you might want to, like, listen to that. It has something to do with, like, your confidence and you being skilled here, so don't accept anything less than the best, and I think that this person's going to make sure that they offer you the best, because they know that you're worth it. Wow, congratulations, Virgo. This is a whole new cycle. I feel like you're going to be doing something for like the next 10, 20, 30 years of your life. There's this massive shift coming just from this conversation. The magician. You are the magician here. I'm getting like you're the center. They need you. 
keep that in mind, Virgo. Whenever, throughout this entire, like, contract, throughout this entire duration of however long this contract's going to be, of course, make sure that you sign for however long you want to sign for and ask them for a trial. Six weeks, okay? Six weeks trial period. If they aren't willing to give you a trial period, thank you next. You'll find somebody else who's willing to, because they need you. That's what I'm saying. They need you. They need you. I also feel like your current management doesn't care if you are under management right now or your current situation does not actually care because you're just a money pig to them or you're just money to them. They don't actually see you as a human being. But this new person, I feel like sees you as a human being. They really also could be your twin flame. I keep seeing that. Okay, but again, only take that if it resonates. We have light at the end of the tunnel. Virgo, maybe this is your light at the end of the tunnel. Hey. Okay. I'll link the other video that this came out in because when the channel messages come out, it's not very likely, you know. There's a lot of cards here, but when they do come out, Spirit wants you to make sure that you are watching that video or maybe you need to rewatch it if you already have. So I'll link that one down below as well. It's the one that's all about multiple opportunities, a whole lot of money, light at the end of the tunnel. Manifesting like this meeting with an important person, a mentor, a lover, somebody who can get you in. I'm getting you're going to be like surpassing people because of your energy or because of who you know. Yeah. You're talented, Virgo. You're very, very skilled. And you have the look, you have the energy, you have the character, you have it all. You're the it girl, the it boy, the it character, whatever. However you identify, however this resonates for you, but you are it. You are it, okay? There's this. There's the light at the end of the tunnel, okay? So if you've been struggling with money lately or if you've been struggling financially or you've just been struggling, like, creating and doing it all on your own, there's a light coming in at the end of the tunnel, all right? We also have no message is also a message, okay? No message is also a message. I don't want to speculate on that, but here's that 803 card I was talking about, so you definitely need to go watch that. But it does say you're very talented, filled with skills that will make you successful in life. For some, way, for some reason, you're unaware of it, and you're going to need to know it when this person comes in. Be so full of yourself. Be so sure and so confident. You're going to tick every single one of the boxes that they're looking for. If this is like a job interview or like you're meeting with somebody for the first time like I'm talking about, you have nothing to be nervous about. Just be your most authentic self. They like you for you. Yes, I am rare. What have I been talking about this whole time, Virgo? You are rare. I'm getting a lot of Aquarius energy here, so this person could also be an Aquarius that you're connecting to. But I am rare, or that you're meeting with. You are rare. You might even use that in conversation. They might even use that in conversation. They're like, Virgo, you are rare. I get that you're doing something like, you're incorporating like two or three, four different things here. Like, I don't know how to explain that, but it's like, you don't just do one thing. Like, you're not just a musician. Maybe you're like a spiritual healer and a musician at the same time. Um, or maybe you really like doing makeup and something else at the same time. You know what I'm saying? It's like you do more than one thing and I feel like you're so good at both or mul or all of these things that you do when people are still struggling to find like their niche. But you have it to seem, you seem to have it like under control. You have like this business on the side, you have this thing going on the side, you have this skill, this talent, and you're still like grinding and hustling. You are rare. Your energy is rare. And you have this blank card again. <laughs> The blank card just keeps coming out for you, Virgo. I don't know how to explain this to you, but this is that wish fulfillment. This is that new start, that new beginning here, okay? So it's all up to you. This is your fresh start. You deserve it. Congratulations, Virgo, okay? That's what I have for you. If this did resonate and, and you enjoyed it, please click the like button to show support as well as to push this video out to other Virgos who need to hear this message. All right, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. We'd love to have you as a part of the family. If you feel called to donate for today's reading, you can do so using the description box below. Thank you in advance. That's it for me, Virgo. Thanks for watching.